Hello, this is Matthew Childers from Matthew Childers. Digital Introspect. You are watching this from the Digital Introspect page. I wanted to show you guys my project from Serenity Gathering 2019. I was working with Opal Productions. Uh, first, I will show you the project. So this is on the Digital Introspect page. We'll find uh, clips to most all of my shows. So this is on the Co stage. This uh, The snowflakes were actually designed by Hunter Payne and Chris Chrismond. And then Arashi actually uh, fabricated them. I was brought on by Hunter Payne a few years ago. So they hired me to make animations for this sculpture and to perform them live. So I'm going to show you my project file. If you want to see the whole video, just go to Matthew Childers Digital Introspect on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. So here's my Resolume project file. For this, I used Resolume and Touch Designer. I have seven layers. One of them is just for feedback. You can see layer seven are all masks, and those mask only what's below it, layer six. Uh, layer five is the, is the same series of masks that mask the videos underneath it, layer four. And then layer three are the masks that mask layer two. So the reason why I did this is because maybe for my first layer, I just want it to be this inner part right here of the snowflake. And then maybe for the layer underneath that, I want that to be, maybe I want it to be the whole thing. If so, I'll click this. And now we have that showing through. And I also have this layer at the bottom. So better use of this would maybe isolate my second layer to that. There we go. You can see it's audio reactive. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the touch designer part. You'll probably find this more interesting. So I'm going to put, this is my uh, touch designer plugin coming through right here. So I'm going to switch all of my layers, my video feed layers, to the touch designer plugin. I'll show you just how this works. Like this. Okay, so I'll show you how this works in touch designer. Boom. Here's some transparent background. You don't see the black, so uh, you don't have as much contrast here. But if I go inside of here, you can see <clears throat> the 3D geometry for the snowflake. It was just imported directly into Touch Designer. This is an object file. Um, I'm using this to create a wireframe for it, of it. So that's the Snowflake model with the wireframe. And I'm texturing that with a generative video that I made in Touch Designer. So if I go inside of here, this is where my textures are at. So these are all being generated in real time, so I can control the speed right now. These are being animated with an LFO. It's just oscillating between negative one and one. And that's on the period of each of these each of these ramps. And then I'm compositing that with a solid color so I can get some color from it. I have it on a switch. I can switch these textures on the fly. Um, I'm controlling this with my MIDI controller, which is um, plugged in through USB and you can see the data is coming in right here. So I'm using these different controls to control different elements of my touch designer patch. I've also got feedback on here because I love feedback. Who doesn't love feedback? If you know what you're lying. So that is what's texturing this model. So you can see now I'm flipping through my different textures. Control the speed, I'll slow it down. This is just a straight render, <clears throat> 3D render, of the perspective I was going to use. I just use this so that way I can line up my real-time geometry with my rendered content that's playing from Resolume. It's just to make sure that everything will map properly. See, I can fade right here between the two and compare. Make sure that it's in the right spot. And it is. Then I'm applying feedback again to that, to the 3D model. You can see that having its effect there. Turn the feedback off for a second. Alright, so that's my touches on a comp. So that's going back here into Resolute. <coughs> so, let's see. I'm actually doing another show with Opal Productions this Sunday. Uh, that is, if the Treasure Island party gets rained out, we're going to be at the Midway. I'll be doing visuals there. But uh, also coming up is Oontz 2019 is coming up at the first week of June. It's like June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. I'll be doing visuals on the Wormhole stage. I wish I could show you that project. I'm really excited about it, but I can't yet. But just to show you some of the audio activity, I'm going to play some Ultra Slaw. That's what I'm doing visuals for at the Oons.